Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Janelle and this is Janelle Ray Budgets and you guys, we are gonna do two things in this video. I usually do Monday minis because it's Monday and then we are also gonna do our Super Sleuth Sunday video today because our weekend was, <laughs> ah, um, I will tell you all about it. But let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm gonna move our Monday minis out of the way. So this is our Monday mini money. We're gonna stick it in there. I'll stick it over here. Oh, and I also have some new items to show you guys. They are all currently up in the um, site already on um, Etsy. I do not have my website up right now. I am trying to figure out some things with um, the taxes. And once I get that all figured out, um, it will go back up. I don't have any plans on moving from Etsy as of right now, but I do foresee maybe doing the switch here in the near future just because of all the things that are going on with Etsy. So uh, we have $30 this time. That's all we're going to stuff into this this time. And I'm not going to count it just because I am doing two videos in one. So the first thing we need to do though, is we need to do our drawing. Um, so we have 44 comments and this was from two weeks ago. So let's see who our first winner is. Um, budget with Erin. And she said, mustard, rope, and garage. Mustard, rope, and garage. And let's see, I'm back here looking because I can't remember what they were. So that is not correct. So I am going to write her name on the back. Budget with Erin. Okay, and then we're going to draw one more. So we'll go down here and pick another winner. And we have, she said, laugh out loud. They are adorable. Never been taught budgeting until I start watching YouTube five months ago. My daughter is doing, is 29 and she is following what I am doing. Hopefully this goes to the comment. And then she said, Scarlet Dagger Kitchen. Scarlet Dagger Kitchen. You guys, I think, I think she, she solved it. <laughs> so Scarlet Dagger Kitchen, you guys. So Diane Richards, 166018. You are the winner. Diane Richards. So we have Diane, D I N N E R I C H A R D Richards, 6018. And she gets our $20. And then we are going to draw a number. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a couple more just to make that a little bit. Um, so Emily Moore, Emily Moore, four, five, nine, and I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, one more. We'll do five this time. Diane Richards is our $20 winner. And we're gonna have, Deanna Edwards, Deanna Edwards, 1147. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and five. And if my phone will be nice to me this time, I'm going to ask Siri. Siri, give me a number between one and five. The answer is four. So four, so Emily Moore. Emily Moore is our $15 winner. So if you can get a hold of me, um, Emily, you are a $15 winner. And Diane Richards, you are our $20 winner. My $20 winner. I don't know why I always say R. Okay, so that solves Clue. So um, we might start a new game. I might try to figure something else out. Um, I didn't have as much participants this time, so maybe we'll see. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through this really fast. I'll probably even do two in each one because I do wanna get to Monday minis. So we're gonna take our big dice here and just go ahead and roll. So number one is going to get, let's see, yeah, we'll do $2 in each one. 14, wait, I like to do it behind so that it doesn't fly everywhere. 14 is going to get $2. 15 is a wild, so I'm going to go up here and put it into house taxes. 
a number one again, which it kind of rolled all over the place, but you know, it's never hurts to put it in emergency. 15 is wild. So we'll go up here to business taxes. And then um, I do, like I said, I have some things to show you guys. And then let's see, we're going to talk about our crazy weekend. So um, on Saturday, I'm in my office and I'm working. I'm working on May binders right now, trying to get all of those out to you guys, along with the orders for the weeks. Um, let's see, 15. I'm going to, I'm just going to do business taxes. Um, number five. And so I'm sitting in here with my husband. My husband and I are actually, we're eating in my office and watching a movie and then I'm working and we, yeah, so there's just a lot going on. It's about 11, I don't know, 1130, we'll say. And, um, so eight, let's see, eight is dead snowball. Um, and so we're eating and it is extremely windy. So this is Saturday It is extremely windy in Colorado. Um, we were going to go to my nephew's baseball game, but decided against it because I wanted to stay home and work anyways. And no, no joke guys. That, that is the truth. I wanted to stay home and work. And I also didn't want to go out in the wind. So I was like, well, we'll just stay home and you know, I'll work. We'll get some food and just stay home. So we're sitting in my office and this big, huge gust of wind, um, 15, I'm going to put that back here in car insurance. Um, this big, huge gust of wind comes like huge. I'm talking like the house. I I'm telling you right now, think, thank goodness. My grandpa built a strong house because <laughs> we are sitting in here and I swear it felt like the house was going to blow over. So emergency is getting one, two, three, four, five, six. And so as the gust of wind goes, all of a sudden, all of the lights in my office and business or house taxes is getting $2. House insurance didn't get anything. Business taxes is getting $4. Um, so the lights in my office go out. And then we start looking around. And my son, who is up in his loft, because he has a loft, that's retirement's getting $2, um, goes, what happened? And so he starts to kind of panic. One, two, three, four into car insurance. And so we realize that the loft is out. Well, then my other son is in the living room and he is fine. Like the power stays on for him. And so we start walking around the house. And so the, the kitchen, the kitchen, which is the microwave, the stove, the refrigerator, um, lights in the kitchen, they're all out. Um, the bathroom in the, on the main level is the power is out in there. My office is gone. So then we go downstairs. So downstairs is my room. There's a bathroom, the shower, um, laundry room, my daughter's room, and then Chris and Julian's room. And so we go downstairs and Chris and Julian's room is still on home. Homeschool is getting $2. Pets is getting $4. Um, so the boys room is still on the power in their room and $2 going to birthdays. And so we go downstairs and see that that's on, but the rest of the house down there is out. And then up here, the only other thing in up here was the living room. And my other two sons, their room is at the end of the house. And it was the power in there was still on. So we thought for sure it was a breaker. We're like a breaker, you know, it had to have blown a breaker. So my husband goes outside to um, look at the breakers and none of the breakers are um, tri tripped. There's none of the breakers are tripped, tripped. So he comes back inside and he's like, it's not a breaker. So... <laughs> We're like, well, what could it possibly be? So I call my dad because he's who I go to for everything because my dad is a general contractor. He built houses. He did electrical. He, I mean, he's just kind of an all around guy. So I call my dad and he says to us, well, did you check the breaker? Yeah, we checked the breaker. Okay. Um, there's, uh, Excel energy in Colorado is doing these, these restart or like was taking power away from certain people because they knew this windstorm was coming. So my dad was like, well, maybe that's why. And I was like, but ours is only partial. So they only took partial away. That doesn't make any sense. If they were going to take the power, they should have taken the whole thing. So he's like, yeah, um, maybe call them. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I get off the phone with him and we look outside and there is a tree branch on one of the poles. So we think maybe that's it. So my husband goes outside to try to see if he can pull the tree branch off. Well, it doesn't, it 
it doesn't come off. And then we realize that that's not power to the house. So that wouldn't have been the cause of it anyways. I mean, we need to get the tree branch down, but it wasn't the cause. So I call my dad back and I'm like, well, I don't know. Um, we're not in the area that was supposed to have the shutdowns and it's only part of the house. And I was like, so that's just a little bit weird. Okay. So we're going to start on Monday minis. So I do have $50 here. I don't have, I do have fives. Let me grab some fives real quick out of this little bag that I have beside me. Um, I'm running out of fives though. <laughs> five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, you know what? I'm just going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm just going to do 30 this time. And um, we'll see how far that gets us. Anyways, so um, I call my dad back and he's like, okay, well, he has a power tester. So he's like, well, I'll bring up my power tester. So he comes up with his power tester. And I put this little spring challenge in here just for when one of these is done so that I have it. Um... So he brings up his power tester and he, they're out there looking at the breaker because maybe the breaker went bad or something. So they're out there looking at the breaker and my dad notices out front that one of the tree branches that we have, we have a big oak tree out front and it, the branch was up against the pole where the electrical was that runs into the house. Well, we have two lines that run into the house. And so long story short, um, one of the, the tree, when that big gust of wind happened, apparently it pulled the electrical out of the one, the one side. So that's why we had partial electrical go out. Anyway, so I call Excel, I report this. And so we're waiting and, you know, they're like, we don't know when it's going to be up and running because we, I think Colorado had something like 2000 power outages and it was all like individual like i mean there was just so many of them because of the wind and um so we're gonna go one two three four five and six so they're like we don't know we don't have a time frame for you we'll work on it and get it as much as we can and blah blah, blah. so all this to say 36 hours later this morning at 3 30 in the morning <laughs> Boom, the lights come on. There was light switches that were switched that I didn't realize were on, one of them being our room, the other one being Amelia's room. And so um, <laughs> that's when our power came back on. So anyways, all weekend long, we didn't have power and then our internet went out. So we didn't have power, we didn't have internet. So in part of the house, so <laughs> partial power. So all this to say, my office, of course, had to be the one that got got the power taken out of it. So, uh, this leads me to say that I am working very hard to make sure that all of these orders get put out on time, but I might need a little bit of grace y'all because I missed 36 hours of work basically. So, um, that's, that's where that story leads. Okay. So we do have power now though. I mean, my light, my camera, we have power. So yay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead and do Monday minis. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching or you other people, but what you do is you roll the dice one through six. And actually I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six this time, just because I like to mix it up. And then we'll count it at the end and see how much each envelope saves. If I finish any challenges, they will be going to my sinking funds envelope for the end of the month. So our first one is going to be one and then six. So one and six don't change. It's the ones in the middle that do. So this is two and six and uh, one. This is three. <laughs> Doing it this way makes it a little bit so three, sorry if you can hear my kid. So obviously they've been without their video games. And I know I, I hate to say it, but video games keep me sane. And I, I know it's not, they don't sit on them all day, disclosure. But um, while I'm filming and while I'm trying to work, it just kind of helps them stay managed. But they haven't had it for 36 hours. So they were super excited this morning to like get done with homeschool and be able to <laughs> play their video games. So that's, yeah. So it was a long weekend. Like, uh, without having any internet, um, we had TV, like our TV in the living room was working because we have power there. 
but we didn't have any internet. So we had to like improvise and, you know, watch, what are those things called? Oh yeah. DVDs. <laughs> you know, my kids are like, what are these? <laughs> Um, no, I'm just kidding. They know what DVDs are. I'm just going to put this last two in here because I like every envelope to get something. Um, so it, it was just, yeah. And so my husband and I like, you know, back when we grew up <laughs> doing that whole back in my day thing, like we didn't, we had to improvise for ourselves. And <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will say that I never knew kind of how important, well, I know how important it is, but it really makes you understand that like two, four, six, eight, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. It, it kind of makes you understand like power is like a bit, like a privilege. I mean, like not having it, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Not having it is like kind of, yeah, it's, it's a little difficult. We had to, we had to eat out, unfortunately, because our stove wasn't working. So we had to eat out. And, um, so one thing, this challenge is for me, I'm, I'm going to tell you where the challenges are from when I do them. So, um, yeah, so we ended up having to eat out, which kind of bummed me out because I had um, Philly cheesesteaks planned for um, Saturday night, but that didn't work out. <laughs> so, okay. So there we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So another eight. So we'll take a five. And we'll just do four and four. Okay, so this one has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That is my daughter who is playing with dinosaurs right now. So I'm very sorry for the loud noise. <laughs> she is never quiet. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in this one. So twelve in this one. So we'll put ten in. And let's see. Each little butterfly I made two dollars. So one, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oops, only two more left on that one. Okay, so this one now has 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 in this one. Okay, and oh, I was telling you who these were from. This one is from Pedago Budgets. Pedago Budgets. This one is from Rock and Row Budgets. And I do have all of, is it Rock and Roll or Rock and Row? I think it's Rock and Row. I have all of them linked down below. This one here is from Stuff and Budget. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to do eight because I only have two fives left. So. I mean, I only did five, sorry. Um, so we had eight, right? So we need to do, let's see. We do this three right here. It's three right here. This two, which would be five. And then six, seven. And then eight. That was horrible coloring, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Okay, so as soon as we're done with this, I do have stuff to show you guys. Um, like I said, most of it is already up in the shop. So we're only putting two in our little beehive challenge. This one has been growing very slowly, but it does not matter because every dollar counts. So we're putting two in. And so I made each one of these little things, $2. 
Okay, so, and this one is from Steps on a Budget. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 in this one. And then we have this last one is from Simply Living Saves. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to take 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that will leave $10. But um, then it's still not going to be finished. So this one will live to see another day. 5 and 10. We'll color in these two big ones here. Okay, so we should have $50 right here. So we should be, and then it only needs five more. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So $5. So this one probably will finish by next time. And then we'll start this cute little spring one from Craft Co. Budgets. Well, we won't start it when I finish that because the way I do it, I like to re-roll the money and put it in the envelopes that are already there. So if I can put my envelopes back in to my little, this one is full. Okay, so how was everybody else's weekend? Did y'all have a good weekend? Um, we did end up going to one baseball game because my nephew played on both Saturday and Sunday, and we didn't have power. So we just decided that, hey, it'd be kind of fun to go to his baseball game since we didn't want to sit here and do nothing, <laughs> stare at each other. Okay, so here we go with starting this. Okay, so first of all, the June Biter is up. Um, it is in the shop. It will be available till Sunday. So, I mean, until Monday. So it will leave the shop on Monday of this next coming up week. So one week from today, the June binder will be gone. Um, I am only going back to binders now. So if you want me to make you binders that have been passed, it's April and May that I will make. So April, May, and then you can the June binder. So that's the first thing. And then... These are new five by sevens that have been put into the shop. Um, there's a lot and I kind of just, I was having a lot of fun making these while I was doing cutting for the binders. So that's why there's quite a few. So I'm just going to go through them and show you real quick and they are available in the shop. So the first one is this pretty little cute doggy. Um, it is not Lisa Frank, but uh, it reminds me of Lisa Frank, and I loved Lisa Frank when I was growing up. So there's that one. And then this one says you can never have too many books, and it's a bookshop. Um, kind of like my ice cream store one that I had, but this one's a bookstore. So there's that one. This one is Be Still and Know That I Am God. And then the back says Be the Light, and it's Ephesians 5.8. And this one is... Um, Psalms 40, what is it? 4610, I believe. And um, it's so it's a double sided one. The front side is scratched, the back side is a roll and save. This one says Otterly 50 Savings. And I just loved this little otter. I thought it was so cute. So I threw, I put him on this little background and made him into a challenge. This one is a little ice cream gnome. Um, I know that gnomes are kind of everywhere, but y'all, this was just too cute to pass up with this little truck behind him. And then this one says penny, pinching pennies like a thrifty crab. And I really just liked this little crab. So I thought he was cute and I wanted to use him. This one is a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. My brother is a huge fisherman and my sister asked me, sister-in-law asked me if I would make a challenge for her. So this is the one I made. And so I just decided to go ahead and throw it up in the shop. Um, he loves fishing. And so I just, I thought the background and stuff was just really cool. This one is just a palm tree beach scene. Well, there's no beach, but it's the palm trees with the silhouette and then the birds. And the, I just really loved the background and the way that it came together. So that's that one. These ones are these cute little hamsters that are dressed up. So there's a fox, a deer, a duck, a ladybug, a pig, an alligator, a hedgehog, a bee, a dinosaur, a tiger, a butterfly, and... Um, maybe a moth or maybe a fly. I don't know. It's just so cute. And then I put them in a little hamster cage. 
So it was just really cute. And this one was just a really, really pretty flower background that I found. And so I wanted to turn it into um, a challenge. This one was dragonflies. Super cute. Um, the best vibes are here. And since I was having such a hard time finding vacation challenges, I went ahead and made a couple more of my own. I do have some coming in the mail, but yeah, so I went ahead and made my own. This one says I crossed the road to escape the questions. <laughs> I love him with his little glasses on. <laughs> I just loved it. This one was just another cute, um, beautiful background scene that I loved. It's got a couple birds up here in the corner. Um, it's just really pretty colors. This one says family recipe, two cups of love, one big scoop of laughter, spoonful of forgiveness, a pinch of patience, one dash of hope, top with kindness. And I just thought that was beautiful. This one says don't duck with me. Um, I was in a mood when I made this. So <laughs> that might be why this one got thrown in here. Um, the find the hidden ducks. So there's little ducks under here that are also carrying knives. So. That's one. And then this is the boho butterflies. And it's never too early to start saving for Christmas. And look, it's a little red truck carrying a Christmas tree. Sorry, guys, I had to say it. But <laughs> I just loved this, like, Christmas scene. Uh, it just it fills my heart. This one says sunrise, sunset, sunburn, repeat. So another kind of vacation-y one um, that I made. This one says the beach is my happy place. So another kind of vacation-y one. This one is Summer Vibes, which I am ready for summer. Okay, you guys, this one I love. So it is a cat, and it's like the Van Gogh sky. And oh my goodness, you guys, this one is so pretty in person. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but even with the, like, lamination on it, it just makes it stand out even more. Like, I love this one a lot. And then I wanted to make a nurse challenge because camp you know, nurses are important. <laughs> and then, um, a teacher because teachers are also important. Um, being a homeschool person, it makes me, or homeschool mom person, it makes me understand what these, what they go through. And yeah. So, and then I keep all my dad jokes in a database. <laughs> so it's a dad joke. I'm sorry guys. I love dad jokes. I watch dad jokes on TikTok. So this one just cracked me up. And then this cute little axolotl drinking a boba tea. So those are all the new 5x7s that have been added to the shop. I know, it's a lot. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, my uh, daughter had to tell me she loved me. Okay, these ones are some um, downloadables that are in my shop. Uh, so we have the Summer Vibes and the Beach is My Happy Place. This will come as one. And it's two 5x7 sizes. And then we have these ones, which are the mini savings. And it says sunburn, sunrise, sunburn, sunrise, sunset, sunburn, repeat. The beach is my happy place and summer vibes. So I wanted to use those on multiple things just in case people, you know, people have different needs, different wants for their savings challenges. These cute little frogs. I did make the five by sevens a freebie. So um, I will try to remember to link that in my video down below. But I wanted to make some mini challenges of them as well. These are crabs with sunflowers, you guys. I... Okay, so my camera hates me, like I said, so it just shut off. I don't know if you guys saw the crabs, but here's the cute little crabs. And then here is the cats with daisies. I'm not sure how far back it shut off on me, but I didn't even realize I had reached that much time yet. These ones are um, Highland Cows with sunflowers, and I'm really liking Highland Cows right now, so um, you guys might see a lot more of these as well. And then these ones were mini Highland Cows with sunflowers as well. And this one is each circle. You can pick your circle amount on these. So um, I just left it completely up to you however you wanted to do it because that way if you wanted to roll and, si roll and save, you can roll and save. If you want to make each circle $5, you can do that. However it is that you guys want to do your challenges. So those are the digitals that are available. Okay, and then this is something new that I just started. So I actually listed the June one first, but I got a lot of requests to make a May one. So while I was... <laughs> 
sitting on my couch yesterday with my um, hotspot, my phone, I decided to go ahead and make a May one. So here is a May budget kit. Okay, so you guys will get, if you order this, it's um, in my shop, you will get the A5 dashboard and the A6 dashboard. They will both come to you. You will get mini challenges, so you will get three. Um, you get one that is $2, which adds up to 40. You get one that is each circle and you get one that is a roll and save. And these will come laminated. The dashboards are laminated as well. These three will come laminated. You will get a color and save. So each flower and the amount, and it's a five by seven. Okay, and it will be laminated so you can reuse it. And then you will get a scratch off and it will come laminated so that you can reuse it. And then you will get a May calendar. So this is the May calendar. And then you will get a monthly budget sheet, which is this. And it has income and your expenses or bills. You can call it either way, what you budget and what the actual is. And then savings, sinking funds, and debt. Okay. And then um, it will have a no spend challenge for the month. And then you can do your month, your start date, your end date, the reason, your no buy list, and then exemptions. It comes with a weekly, a weekly budget, which is income, expenses, um, and then, oh, I didn't, I need to change that. I'm sorry, you guys. That is supposed to say um, cash envelopes. So it's going to have bills and then cash envelopes. So I will make sure that gets changed before it gets sent out. Then seeking funds, savings, and debt payment. So you get five of these. There's five sheets. Each one of these has a different flower background on it in the month of May. And I will make sure that that is changed before they send out to anybody. Um, so it will say bills and cash envelopes, and then sinking funds. And then you will get an eight by 10 um, challenge as well. And this is also laminated. Um, I'm not hole punching any of these because if you guys want to hole punch them with a three ring binder, if you want to hole punch them with a um, happy planner style, that is up to you. I'm not going to be hole punching any of these, but I did leave room on the side for all of them to be hole punched. Okay. So that's the May one. And this comes as a kit. And nothing is digital in this. It will all come sent to you just like just like this. I mean, it will be the whole kit will be sent to you just like this. And then we have the June kit, which is also already up. This one is watermelon themed. So again, it comes with June and June. So a five by seven and an A6. And you will get both. You will get both. And then it comes with the mini. And the same thing, it's a $2.00. A each circle and then a roll and save and these are just cute little watermelons on the bottom comes with a color in watermelon each watermelon and you color it in comes with the scratch off like I said laminated and then again you get the same thing you get the the calendar you get the budget the monthly budget let's see the monthly budget you get five of the weekly budgets. And again, I will make sure this is changed. I went back and forth on what I was going to name those and what order I was going to put them in. And that's just what happens when you're creating stuff. So you get, sorry for my phone going off. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I turned it on so Siri would talk and then I forgot to turn it back off. Um, okay, so you get the five budget sheets, the weekly budget sheets, five of them. And then you get the no spend, no spend challenge. And then you get the eight by 10 challenge. And like I said, these are all laminated. The challenges are all laminated, no hole punches so that you guys can hole punch them how you want. And that is all that I have to show you guys. This is all up. This is the April launch. There will not be another launch this month. Um, this is it for this month. So I'm only going to do one launch this month since this one was so big. Um, again, June binders will be leaving the shop um, on Monday. So then you, I mean, there was just so much that went into the shop this weekend. Um, so the June binders will be leaving the shop on Monday. I'm going to move these out. This will be a good thumbnail. <laughs> um, 
so they will be leaving the shop on Monday and, um, let's see, April and May will still be, you can, you can get April and May. Um, they will not ship out until June though. So, um, unless I have time to throw the April one or the May ones out because I am doing May, I, I will try my best to get them to you as soon as possible so that maybe you guys can get them for me. But, um, I think that's it, y'all. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long. Sorry my camera stopped filming. I hope you guys saw everything. Oh, and giveaways. Okay, so we have the May binder giveaway. So if you are interested in the May binder, May binder, um, it's hashtag May binder, hashtag May binder in the comments down below that will enter you in to win a May binder. If you are interested in a May kit, May kit, May kit in the hashtag down below, May, May kit, hashtag May kit. I'll try to remember to do a little thing. So May binder for the May binder, May kit for the May kit. You can enter both. And yeah, y'all. So that's all I have for you. I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. I hope that it was a little bit better than mine. I can't really complain, but you know, it was a little stressful not having power. So, um, we will see you guys in the next video, which is tomorrow, which is savings challenge day. And yeah, that's all I have. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Bye y'all.